Hello, I'm Timothy Jordan for The Developer Show. This is your update about the coolest developer news from Google in the last week. Actions on Google has new features that enable you to be more creative and to build new types of actions that help your users get more things done. These include support for media playback, better content carousels, and daily updates and push notifications on phones. Take a look at the post linked in the description below for all the details. The first developer preview of Android P is now available. It's an early baseline build for developers only. That's you. New features include indoor positioning with Wi-Fi RTT, improved messaging notifications, and a multi-camera API. Take a look at the post for the getting started instructions. Android Things is Google's platform that enables Android developers to create Internet of Things devices. The platform also supports powerful applications such as video and audio processing and onboard machine learning with TensorFlow. Developer Preview 7 is now available with console enhancements, device updates, and more. Chrome 65 is out, and it includes the CSS Paint API, the Server Timing API, and more. Take a look at the post for everything new for developers in this release. As the top-ranked mobile app crash reporter for over three years running, Crashlytics helps you track, prioritize, and fix stability issues in real time. We recently graduated Firebase Crashlytics out of beta, making it the default crash reporter for Firebase going forward. This release includes several major new features, which are outlined in the post. Now available in public alpha is an interactive command line interface to Google Cloud Platform that provides auto prompts and inline help for gcloud, gsutil, bq, and cube control commands. This means no more context switching as you search for command names, required flags, or argument types in help pages. Screenshots and getting started instructions are on the post. Please remember to like, subscribe, and share. I'm Timothy Jordan for The Developer Show. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next week. Did I mention that I have jet lag? <laughs> <laughs> Whew, okay, let's do this.